Have you been asking yourself, is Nanaimo a good place to live? Well, I'm going to give you my top six reasons why I think relocating here is an awesome idea. It goes without saying that if you're thinking of relocating to BC or if you're lucky enough to be from BC, you're drawn to its beauty. Vancouver Island is no exception. Nanaimo has surprised me with how much beauty is right in my backyard. I'm within walking distance to some of the most beautiful beaches and trails. I think my family and friends might be a little bit tired of how much I post uh, pictures of sunsets and beaches, but honestly, sometimes it's visual overload. I am so blown away by the amount um, of beauty here. Part of what enhances the beauty of Nanaimo is the weather. Now we came from the mainland. We came from the North Shore Mountains, which do get a lot of rain. And yes, it does rain here in Nanaimo. I'm not going to lie. The climate is relatively the same as Vancouver. So very mild temperatures in um, the winter, which is obviously a draw if you're from a colder region. We've noticed a huge amount of extra sunny days here on Vancouver Island and have really enjoyed the weather here in Nanaimo so far. Living in central Vancouver Island makes it the perfect starting point for exploring. Nearby to Nanaimo, about 20 minutes away, you have a very popular tourist destination in Parksville. Now, this spot is super popular for beachgoers and campers. It's a spot that we often take uh, visitors that we have coming, friends and family, and they love exploring the beaches there. Now, a little bit further out is a very popular spot. Many of you are familiar with Tofino. It has some of the most arguably, and I will say the most beautiful beaches in the world. And that's only about a two hour and 40 minute drive. And when you're already living in Nanaimo, you're dropping the ferry ride. It's honestly such a close destination that you can go in the summer or in the winter when you can get in some really good storm watching. If you're looking for maybe a little bit more shopping or maybe some different dining experiences, Victoria, which is the capital of BC, is only about an hour and a half drive away. You can honestly drive down there, spend the day shopping and exploring, looking at museums, and be back at home by dinner time. One of the main reasons we picked Nanaimo was for the commutability. So you might actually be thinking, how often am I going to leave the island? Well, wouldn't you rather be 10 to 15 minutes away from a ferry than let's say an hour or two hours away from getting off of the island? So Nanaimo has two major uh, BC ferry ports. One of them is Departure Bay, which goes into Horseshoe Bay in West Vancouver. And in fact, I spent a year commuting to my job in West Vancouver as a ride-on or a walk-on passenger. One of the other major ports is Duke Point, which is a little further away than where we are currently in North Nanaimo, um, but that gets you into Tuasin. So if you're going to the airport, YVR, it's a little bit closer to that side in the mainland. So that's a bonus. I think it's really great to be able to hop on a uh, less than two hour ride and get to the mainland, get to maybe some extra shopping or have people visit you. And if you wanna know more about the subject of BC Ferries, I am going to do another video on this topic. So stay tuned for that. And speaking of airports, Nanaimo does have an airport. It is a smaller airport, but I consider this a bonus. And this is coming from an ex-flight attendant. If you're starting off your vacation in a major airport, it can be kind of stressful. And what we have found is the Nanaimo airport is quiet, you can always find parking, and it's going to connect you to any destination you need to get to. So that is definitely a major bonus. Okay, I'm super surprised I didn't list this as number one because when people ask me, how do you like living in Nanaimo? My number one answer is always, I love, I love that, that there is no is traffic. traffic. So if you ask somebody from Nanaimo, they might disagree. They might tell you that it's getting busier and they find that their commute is a little bit slower. If you're from a city like we are, you will notice a huge difference. Now, the main one being you can actually plan how long it's going to take for you to get from point A to point B almost to the minute. And I would say everything on average is about 20 minutes away, depending if you're going further out, you're not sitting in your car and I don't care how good your podcasts or audio books are, listen to those on the beach and spend less time in the car. It's honestly such a good perk. 
Okay, so my final reason why I love living in Nanaimo, and some of you may disagree, but we have had so many visitors come and see us. I think there's a few reasons for this. I think the major one is that Vancouver Island is a very popular tourist destination for people looking for a staycation. And oftentimes they'll come into Vancouver Island using Nanaimo, so using BC Ferries. And so we'll have a lot of people come in and stop in on us on their way to other places like Tofino or Parksville. And they'll stay for the afternoon or sometimes they'll stay on their way home if they're a little bit too tired uh, to make it all the way across on the ferry. Um, and the bonus is that we've been able to have a little bit more house to house them. So if they wanna spend the night, we've got the space for them. It's been honestly incredible. We've had friends and family that barely visited us when we lived on the mainland come and stay with us. So that's a big perk for me. It may not be for you, but I certainly love it. So those are my top six reasons why Nanaimo is a good place to live. Now I can go on and on about this topic and I will in future videos. So hopefully you will stay tuned for If you are thinking of relocating, I hope this video has helped.